And that was a win for Georgetown on the road here in Notre Dame, Indiana. Georgetown is in the blue, fighting Irish in the white, blue, and gold. Well, now's the time in December you want to get people healthy. Work on the glass for the Irish, looking for a second chance. Burton straight away. That's a three ball, and he's ripping the ropes for the Irish to get us rolling. He was just two of seven from beyond the arc in the loss last Saturday at then number eight Marquette. 78-59 for Notre Dame. We talked about ACC ties, and, uh, we, I, you know, with Dontre Siles, I didn't know what he could do. You know, we never saw him at North Carolina. Donetti dropping the hammer for the Irish. Lord, here he is. We talked about Georgetown, not a great defensive team, and uh, late help coming in. Brumbaugh drew the defensive attention. Masood. Deep into the shot clock with the pull-up, and he rattles it in. Two years in the Kansas State program, and prior to that, he played in Wake Forest, as Mike mentioned, part of the ACC lineage. That's another three for the Irish, and it's Roper. Roper had another three, second of the game for the Irish. Yeah, it's just great ball movement that time, and uh, Michael Drew very talking about he definitely needs to be closer to the three-point line. Quick turnaround, Masu. Way above their season average of 41%. Konezi misfires. Fight on the glass. John got it for Notre Dame. Styles trying to drive. Couldn't get the angle. Kept alive. Fielder. Tough shot. He laid it in. Coach's son, Braden Shrewsbury. Fielder. They got a kind bounce there, and it fell in for the three. And see, with, with a guy like Epps out, those are the type of contributions that you need in a game like this. And then Z to the rim, and he'll go to the free throw line. Here's the look, and he's, you know, here's the guy, this is, this, he had the drive for the dump. A season ago, for the first time since 2011, they had a first round win against Texas A&M. And another coach with ACC ties. Come on. <laughs> Fielder, watch out. Brumbaugh, dribbling clinic, a lot of dribbling into the paint, Brumbaugh. Win for Georgetown here at Notre Dame, 63-47. And uh, before that uh, timeout, uh, Micah Shrewsbury, an unset and a uh, great take inside by Supreme Cook. One of the best names in all of college yeah, basketball. Yeah, absolutely. Cook but is the leading rebounder for this Georgetown team. Another three for the Irish. Most of you, we hope, watched Miami, number 24 in the nation, defeat LaSalle, 84-77. Wilga Poplar had 25 points. Looking for a safety valve. Roper slides down, maintains the dribble, Globetrotter style, and fires away! Well, talk about the resurrection of a possession. Do you even remember the Washington Generals Absolutely. and the Globetrotters? Oh, Their right. record is not good, Mike. No, it's not good, but, <laughs> but they get paid. Marcus Haynes, uh, Globetrotter-ish. He's got five points. Heath drops it to Fielder, aggressively to the rim. Davis pulls it in, and here's Shrewsbury. Trying to cross it over against the defender, and Shrewsbury lays it up and in for the Fighting Irish to take the lead. He's also got three rebounds and is two of three on three-point tries. He'd only made four all season prior to today. Turnover, Roper trying to get by Fielder against three defenders. How did that go in? Tell me how, G-Man. Just great defense. Watch the hands right here. Good active hands, and this, I'll let this one play out. Find Shrewsbury. Burton out of the corner. He spins it off the top of the backboard. Zona got it, and he lays it in. So Burton, Mike, just has three points so far as the leading scorer for Notre Dame. He's the top freshman scorer in the conference. Oh, what a bounce for Shrewsbury, and it's a three ball. Well beyond 22 feet, one and three quarter inches away. That's a baseline jumper for Bristol. Georgetown needed it. Upper Marlboro, Maryland, the kick to the corner around the perimeter. Davis tees it up. Nothing but net for Davis and another three-pointer. 
As a team, the Irish 48% shooting in this first half. Here's Burton, the pull-up, the mid-range. Roper, down the lane, into fielder, too strong. Jai couldn't grab it, and here comes Heath. Got it right back from fielder. Minute and a half to go in our rapidly paced first half. Oh, what a move by Heath to lay it in. Being able to play immediately and transferring within the conference. Notre Dame losing so many players from last year's team. Masood catch and release for three for the Hoyas. Power dribble turned right into Jai. Brumba shot was deflected and Jai grabbed it. Spins into the paint, got the defender in the air. Bonesny. Seven points in the first half for Kunesi. He's got those two. Brumbaugh sends it right back out to Styles, Teeing up the three. And now Heath comes out of the pack. Heath hesitation and drive. Oh, that's a veteran move, Mike. Six and 21 for the Irish in the game. Heath wants a three. Side rim, Cook. Right back out to Masood for a three. And Cook did the heavy lifting on that possession. Good hard work on the backboard by Cook. And 49 defensive rebounds, so he does it on both ends of the floor. Bonesny with the turnaround, and that interrupts an 8-0 run by Georgetown. First player for the Irish to get the double digits with 11. Brumbaugh, the kick from Heath, and the three from Brumbaugh. Where it was there early on, no offensive rebounding for Notre Dame. Styles to Cook for the jam. Double fisted rim rocker for Supreme. Beat them over the top. Booth. Booth hits another three. Fielder had a big first half for the Hoyas. Wants it back. Wants to launch a three. Hoists it high and hits it. That that you know that ability probably wasn't in the scouting report. About 11 points now for Fielder. Could not defend the shot by Burton. In the ACC, he's up to nine points for Marcus Burton, the freshman. Brumball will take it all the way. Benesny got caught off, defending by Masood. Shot clock inside of 10. Shrewsbury, nice touch on the shot. That includes one of five on three-point tries. Brumball. Trying to find Fielder in a congested area, knocked away. Shrewsbury stops and hits a three. 440 on the game clock. Fielder. Fielder wants a three. After that last one, he's now four or five from three point distance. Gonesny stealing jam. Roper. This is literally one on one. Around Brumbaugh, and he lays it in for Roper. Three Hoyas getting the double digits in scoring. They turn it over, Burton. Nice steal by Burton. Three on two to Davis for the jam. Marcus Burton with a winning defensive play. Great defensive way, way to open up and then the decision on Burton driving by Masood. Up and under, and he spun it off the glass to give Notre Dame the two-point lead. 8.7 seconds on the clock. What a big time finish inside. Uses his body, uses the rim. Brumbaugh's got the ball. Driving, they're looking for two, and they got it from Brumbaugh. Wow. He went right for the body. No, well, he did a nice job. Heath has to back it out. Ten on the shot clock. Styles wastes no time and hits the three in front of his own bench. To double digits in scoring for Dontrez Styles. He had a streak in this year of 20-point games, three in a row, and all. The Capable hands of Marcus Burton. Driving. Burton Ooh. scores it. Kept it behind his right ear and then laid it off the glass. All I saw was from our angle were, were Georgetown uniforms and then this ball comes. 
120 on the game clock. Inside of 10 on the shot clock. Masood for three. Raining it in for the Hoyas. Here's the look. I mean, this is this is just a great stroke. He didn't hesitate at all. And the big, without their best player, and they had different guys step up. Epps was out with illness. Brumbaugh finishes with 15 points.